Let's look at something which is a little bit confusing when you start out with R, and that's how to count stuff. Um, and the reason it's confusing is because there is no count function. So if you use that from Excel or from SQL, um, you're going to find out that it's uh, something you have to wrap your head around. So let's clean up for a sec. Find out where the working directory is. It's in documents in this case. Fine. Let's build a little uh, data frame here. Give the columns names, column 1, column 2, column 3. Have a look at it. So we've got three variables with uh, seven items in each uh, variables. And one of them is has an NA in the last, uh, the last slot. OK. Let's take a look in Excel what it looks like. OK, so let's put a count function here. Excel is smart enough to basically take into account only what's numeric in these uh, in these values here. Obviously, if I want to expand it to uh, to here, which is uh, these are string values, then I have to use count a um, and count the rows. So whether this is a string or a null or an empty value, Excel is going to know to um, uh, basically disregard it and only count the numerics here. Now, if I go to R and basically do the same thing, I'm going to use the uh, length function. And what length does is it, it's not like L, like uh, the len function in Excel. Okay, it doesn't uh, check for the length of a character vector. It, che it checks for the length of a vector full stop. So what it would basically be the same as uh, looking at how many. It's more like the count a function. Okay, it counts how many rows are in the cell range. Okay. So it counts how many elements are in a vector. So let's count how many uh, uh, elements we have in the third vector here in column 3, and it's 7. How many do we have in column 2? Also 7, because the NA is an element, so it counts it. Even if we coerce it to uh, numeric, oh, sorry about that, it's still going to count it as 7. Okay. So how do we get around that? Uh, since we want to uh, basically exclude the NAs, so let's take all the items in column 2 which are not an A. So basically filter them out first. And what we get is the uh, logical vector which is true, 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 and the last one is false because the, fa the last one is an A. Okay, so it doesn't conform to, uh, uh, to the condition here. And then we pass that to the which function. What the which function does is give us the indexes of the trues in this vector. And we feed this whole thing, which is going to give us indexes of trues, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and leave out the 7. And if we pass that to the length, this is now a, a new vector of 6 elements. So we pass that to the length function, and we get 6, which is what we want. Now, the same thing would hold true if um, uh, we build another data frame, and here it's going to be empty. So same as before, we're going to um, we're going to filter. No need to write to to the CSV. We've already seen this. We're going to filter. It's going to be seven and seven. So let's first filter where um, the elements in column number two are not empty. Okay, and so once we filter these, we see the trues here. In the, in the logical vector, feed that to the which function. Again, we get the, um, the new vector with six elements, and then we count the number of elements in that vector with a length function, and we basically get what is a de facto um, count function. So it's a bit complicated, but once you get your head around it, it really isn't. Now, as usual, uh, the DeepLayer uh, framework has, or library has, uh, uh, syntax which is friendlier uh, and, again, more in line with uh, what you might know from SQL. So let's have a look at that. Let's load the library. And I'm taking the DF uh, data frame, and I use summarize with the n function. And n is about as close as it gets to a count function in R. Okay, so this is part of the Diplier library. 
and I'll count the uh, elements in column two, and I get seven. So it still counts DNAs. So what we do now is use the filter uh, function, exactly as we did before, um, with which to only uh, bring in the elements which are not uh, NAs. So let's run that. Okay, and so it filtered out the last, uh, the last row, basically. And now we're going to count uh, the rows in the remaining data frame, or in this uh, um, subset of the data frame, with a summarize plus the, uh, the end function. And now we get six. So uh, this is friendlier, easier, and more like uh, what you would do in uh, SQL with uh, count and where. So I hope you got this. Uh, it's pretty crucial. Uh, a very, very uh, elementary difference between, I would say, um, SQL and, and, and Excel in, uh, in R, and you really must know this. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, ask me in the comment section, and I uh, hope you liked it.